Hi everybody. Well, tonight I am going to make a batch of salt bars. Um, I'm using, well, I was inspired because Brambleberry has this, they're pretty in pink salt bars with the Baltic, nine bar Baltic birch mold. So I decided to buy that mold and, um, and I figure why not use it. So here it is. So I'm really excited to use it. I decided, I drooled over this a long time, for a long time. Um, and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it because I've tried to do slab soaps and I can't cut worth a darn. So I decided to get it. And um, I also got their energy fragrance oil, which I'm gonna soak with today. And I love that, I just absolutely love it. And I'm gonna do like a neon yellow and a neon pink swirl. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's new? We're always kind of winging it anyway. So I've got my oils melted. I'm just going to give them a little stick blend to get them all combined. And I'm going to add my fragrance oil ahead of time. I know it's well behaved, so I'm not, not really worried about anything. I just want it in there right away because I'm going to split this batch in two. If you hear a tippy tappy on the floor, that would be my dog. She's restless tonight. I don't know why. But it's driving me crazy. I already took her on a big walk. And now it's snowing, believe it or not. So. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I just wore shorts the other day. I went for a mountain bike ride with my husband and wore shorts. Now it's snowing. <laughs> Alright, let me go get my live water added. So I'm just going to divide these equally because I've already split the salt in half that I needed. So I'm just going to get these emulsified and then I'll color the yellow part first. I always like pink and yellow. I think they're a good complement to each other. Okay, so my dog just went upstairs, so. <laughs> I wish I could walk her again, but it's like pitch black out. Can't really see. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna weigh this, weigh this and then divide the batch in two. So I don't think you need to see that. It's kind of boring, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything weighed, or um, I don't want, so now I just went and grabbed the pink, but I didn't want the pink. Let me get another, another measuring spin to set. They're all in the dishwasher. Not really sure how much to use for colorant, so I'll use a quarter teaspoon first. And I didn't pre-blend, I'm just going to mix her in. Oh, I hate that one that happened. I don't know why my blender keeps doing that. yellow's fine with me. I'm not looking to go neon. I'm just looking to have yellow. Something other than white, I guess. Okay. And then this one, I'll probably need to put in another container when I add the salt. We'll see. 
This will be the pink. Definitely kind of a, it's very nice. That's what I'm looking for. Just want to make sure everything's blended properly. So I'll be swirling with these two. I think that's okay. Now I'll add my salt. So I've already pre-measured the salt. seems like it's definitely very thin trace. Hopefully I don't run out of room for the pink. Good. Can't say I made it easy for myself. I thought I had another spoon over here. Oh, this is close. It's sticking to my spoon. I swear, it's almost like the salt has, I thought it normally got thicker. It almost seemed to loosen the batch up, which is crazy. It seems very thin. Definitely. Well, it should be really good for swirling. So I'm gonna just clean up my work surface a bit and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I got my mold here. I didn't bother taping it because it has a lid. Um, also the dividers, I'm gonna put those in after, even the side pieces because I want them to cut into the soap. So we'll see how that plan goes, but I lined it so that it's one piece of freezer paper. So hopefully it'll contain anything. And let me just also say, I was also inspired to do salt bars from Holly from Missouri River Soap. She just did a video on her salt bars and um, I love her videos and uh, she's always inspiring me to make soap. So just a little shout out to her. Um, well, I think I'll get started. I'm just going to do some strips of color. I have not done this before, so... But I just watched or read the tutorial on the Pretty in Pink, and I think you just kind of do strips of color just throughout. And like I said, I'm guessing at how much oil I need, so... So... It's really thin, so who knows what it's really going to end up being. It's almost too thin. So, we'll do more of a... <laughs> in the pot, in the mold swirl maybe. And then I won't even swirl it. I can't believe how thin this is. I've never had salt bars so thin. Either way, I think it's going to be cool. A lot of pink. I'm 
I'm not going to do anything with the top. All right, so last of the yellow. Scrape it all out. Hope you can see I wasn't even thinking about that. I've never actually done anything at this light a trace, so we'll see how this works out. I'm not going to bother scraping that one. And then I think I'll just take a little skewer through there, or maybe I think I'm going to go a little bigger here um, and use this and just kind of Voila. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that swirl. And then I'm going to put in my dividers. I'll start with the end pieces. pieces and you know when you get the mold you think that the end pieces aren't gonna fit but actually when you put your freezer paper in they're perfect they're snug and so there's those wow that is very pretty now what are the odds that I can keep it that way okay Oops. Okay, one more set of dividers to put in. So you gotta hold these. I gotta make sure they're even together before. Ugh, oh, what am I doing? If you could see me, which you probably can't, or maybe you can. Just trying to get them together before I put them in the mold. Okay. Now the question is, do I do anything with the tops? Let's see if you can see. Oh, okay. Oh, the camera. Well, probably the, the swirl's probably not gonna come through. Um, I think I might just leave them at that and put them in the oven. I was thinking about glitter, but I think it would hide the swirl. So I'm just gonna spritz them with some alcohol and um, put them in an oven. I um, gel, I preheat my oven to 170 and then I turn it off and then I put my soap in. I do not put my soap in an on oven. Okay, well, thanks for watching and I will let you know how they turn out. All right, good morning, everybody. Well, I think we have success here. I got my salt bars gelled last night, kind of babysat them for a little bit. The batter was so thin that it took a little bit of time to get them to gel, but nothing out of the ordinary, less than two hours. So I was really happy about that. So I took them out of the mold, which was pretty easy. And I think they're just falling apart. I mean, the, the dividers are just falling off. Look at that. That's pretty easy. <laughs> so I can just take them out. Voila. So I ended up putting glitter on these because the tops, they did sweat a little bit. So I thought it would be fun to just get a little bit of glitter on there. but I think they turned out really well. 
really happy. So there's that one. It's a cute size too. Let me see how much, I think I have my scale down here. Oh, let's see how much it weighs. Just because I predicted, I think I predicted about five ounces. 5.5, I was just gonna say between five and six, so that worked out really well. So, yeah, there's that one. You can see the swirl on the bottom. I wasn't going for a completely definite swirl. I was just hoping for different colors because this was energy and I thought it would just be fun to get some colors in here. You can see the different, very clean, very clean lines. And I cannot believe how easily these came out. I like the bottom. Oops, just had some little stuff coming off. So they feel really nice too. I mean, this to me is easy. This was so easy. I'm so glad I bought this mold. It just behaved like a dream. And I, I like wood too. I mean, I use silicone and I use wood molds, so I used to make my own wood molds, so. Oh, that one's pretty. So, they're all pretty much the same. They smell really good. Oh, I really could not be happier with these colors too. They turned out so pretty. It's exactly what I had in mind. And they feel, it feels so good. And I think this was the perfect size, so I guess the amount of oils correctly. Um, just so you know what I do, I use full water when I do salt bars, which is, like if you were to use soap calc, I don't mess with the water. I think it says 38% water per weight of oils. And then I used, um, I think I used 23 ounces of oils and then I used 75% salt. So that's what gives you this size for the salt bars. And you know how I figured that out? I figured that based on I'm thinking it was either 32 or 33 ounces of oil to make a regular batch of soap and then I just took about three quarters of that or something like that. I'm not really sure. I did a bunch of calculations. <laughs> and then you know what the ultimate thing was is I measured how much fragrance oil I had and I had exactly enough to do a 23 ounce batch of soap. So that <laughs> in the end really dictated. And I figured at this stage, you know, one ounce wasn't gonna make a big difference in terms of oils. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna just clean these up just a little bit, just the edges and um, get these puppies curing. But yeah, I'm very happy with this mold, very happy with my swirl. So I'll definitely have to attempt again at some point in time. Yep, five and a half for that one. 5.6. And you know what, I, I, as I watched the video that I made before, I realized I didn't tap the mold down after I poured. And you could see that it looked like it wasn't level, the batter, but when I put my dividers in, it leveled itself out. So I thought that was really cool. Cause I, sometimes when you're doing swirls, you really can't pay attention to everything. And you know, if I really wanted a more definite swirl, I would have just done a little bit of pink and more yellow, and that way you would see it more. Because this, as it blends in and it was very thin, the colors kind of go into each other, which is what I wanted, so that was totally fine. The bottom is gorgeous, it really is. Well anyway, I'm super happy, excited, thrilled, yay! Um, I think that's it for now. 
<sighs> I might make more soap today. I'll, I will see. I'm just trying to get some stuff, use up my ingredients and just get a few bars done to give away for Christmas. So, and I will show you what I'm working on there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Hello, I just thought I'd show you guys how I've been cleaning up these salt bars. I'm just using my veggie peeler here and I'm just kind of going over the edges very lightly just to get that sharp corner crease off. I'm not even really pressing, I'm just kind of gently going over the top. And then after I'm done with the top, I'll do the bottom. Because I really don't want to take too much of the soap off because I want it to be even. If you go lightly like this, it gets even. Then I'll do the corners. Now once that's done, I have it just ever so slightly damp paper towel and then I just brush off the first of all you can't have anything on your fingers then I'll brush brush off those little soap pieces from everywhere because salt bars do get pretty you know crumbly so you it's nice to get all that stuff off So there you have a cleaned up bar versus a non-cleaned up bar. All right, that's it.